What are hydrothermal copper deposits? Hydrothermal copper deposits are a type of mineral deposit that forms from the precipitation of copper minerals from hot, metal-rich fluids that circulate through fractures in the Earth's crust. These fluids are typically generated by the heating and mixing of groundwater with magma or other hot fluids. As the fluids circulate through the rocks, they can dissolve and transport copper and other metals, which can then precipitate out of the fluids as they cool and react with the surrounding rocks. Hydrothermal copper deposits can occur in a variety of geological settings, including volcanic and sedimentary rocks, and can range in size from small veins to large or bodies. Some of the most economically significant hydrothermal copper deposits are associated with porphyry copper deposits, which form in subduction-related magmatic arcs and are characterized by large, low-grade or bodies that are typically hosted in porphyritic intrusions. Hydrothermal copper deposits can be mined using a variety of methods, including open pit and underground mining. The recovery of copper from these deposits typically involves crushing and grinding the ore to liberate the copper minerals, followed by flotation to separate the copper minerals from the gang, non-valuable minerals, and smelting to produce a copper concentrate. The copper concentrate can then be further processed to produce pure copper metal. How are hydrothermal copper deposits formed? Hydrothermal copper deposits are formed from the precipitation of copper minerals from hot, metal-rich fluids that circulate through fractures in the Earth's crust. The formation of hydrothermal copper deposits involves a complex interplay of geological, physical, and chemical processes, and can occur in a variety of geological settings. The general process of hydrothermal copper deposit formation can be described as follows. Source of heat, the formation of hydrothermal copper deposits requires a source of heat to drive the circulation of fluids through the rocks. This heat can be generated by a variety of geological processes, including the intrusion of magma, volcanic activity, or the burial and deformation of sedimentary rocks. Source of fluid, the fluids that form hydrothermal copper deposits are typically derived from groundwater that has been heated and chemically altered by interaction with the heat source. These fluids are typically rich in dissolved metals and other chemical constituents, which can be transported and deposited as the fluids circulate through the rocks. Source of Copper The source of copper in hydrothermal fluids can vary depending on the geological setting. In some cases, the copper is derived from the surrounding rocks, while in other cases it is sourced from magmas or other hydrothermal fluids. Deposition As the metal-rich fluids circulate through fractures in the rocks, they can precipitate out copper and other minerals as they react with the surrounding rock. The minerals that form depend on the specific chemical conditions of the fluid, including temperature, pressure, and pH. Copper minerals commonly associated with hydrothermal copper deposits include chalcopyrite, bornite, and chalcosite. Post-deposition alteration after the minerals have been deposited, they may undergo further alteration as a result of later hydrothermal or weathering processes. This can result in the formation of secondary copper minerals such as malachite, azurite, or cuprite. Overall, the formation of hydrothermal copper deposits is a complex process that involves the interplay of geological, physical, and chemical processes. Understanding these processes and the geological setting in which they occur is essential for the exploration and development of hydrothermal copper deposits. In which regions of the world are hydrothermal copper deposits most common? Hydrothermal copper deposits can be found in many regions around the world, but the largest and most economically significant deposits are typically associated with specific geological settings. Some of the most important regions for hydrothermal copper deposits include Andean Copper Belt The Andean Copper Belt, which stretches from Peru to Chile, is home to some of the world's largest porphyry copper deposits. These deposits are associated with subduction-related magmatic arcs and are characterized by large, low-grade or bodies that are typically hosted in porphyritic intrusions. Southwestern United States 
the southwestern United States, particularly the states of Arizona, New Mexico, and Utah, is another important region for hydrothermal copper deposits. These deposits are typically associated with porphyry copper systems, as well as other types of hydrothermal deposits, such as scarns and carbonate replacement deposits. Central Asia, the Central Asian region, including countries such as Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, and Mongolia, is home to a number of large porphyry copper deposits. These deposits are associated with the Tethian orogenic belt, a zone of deformation and magmatism that extends from the Mediterranean region to Southeast Asia. Indonesia, Indonesia is home to several large porphyry copper deposits, including the Graberg mine, which is one of the world's largest copper and gold mines. These deposits are associated with subduction-related magmatic arcs and are typically hosted in porphyritic intrusions. Australia, Australia is home to a number of hydrothermal copper deposits, including the Olympic Dam deposit in South Australia, which is one of the largest copper deposits in the world. These deposits are typically associated with iron oxide copper gold, IOCG, systems, which are characterized by the presence of magnetite and other iron oxide minerals. Overall, Hydrothermal copper deposits are found in a variety of geological settings around the world, but the largest and most economically significant deposits are typically associated with specific geological settings, such as subduction-related magmatic arcs or porphyry copper systems. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on notifications.